warms my tin heart. <laughs> tin heart. Yeah, wow. He said the, the, the <laughs> name of the movie again. <laughs> They have their uh, their heart on their sleeves in, mm. in a sense, so they are really pouring their heart out by a creation like this. And hey guys, welcome back to another Composers React, and we are here with Berkai. Hi, Berkai is uh, our video editor, but also we are experimenting a lot with some very cool contradictions. Mm -hmm. More it kind of comes on the channel if you're kind of following it. So uh, if you are not already following or subscribed, make sure to do that and you can uh, check it out. Click. But uh, to speak about contradictions, we love to kind of edit stuff on a contradiction. So that means if something is very emotional, maybe the music shouldn't be emotional or mm -hmm. when something is really kind of cold, then if you put emotional music on it, then you can kind of provoke these strange feelings. Yeah, because music makes all the difference, right? Uh, most definitely. Yeah. So there is one from our, our game publisher who did Deliver Us the Moon, mm -hmm. Wire Productions, and they made a beautiful, beautiful trailer with a, a, a contradiction. But I'm not sure if this is so much for a contradiction because this fits kind of the, the, the heartfelt uh, narrative that they're, that they're telling here. And it's a trailer for Tin Hearts. Okay. I have no idea, so maybe we can just check it. I am ready because it's a, a rather emotional one with my uh, emotional popcorn. Oh. He's, uh, he's gonna be supportive here. <laughs> but let's dive into it and see what we think of Tin Hearts. All right. Step by step, heart to heart. A nice vocal. Chill. Very calm. Mm -hmm. I love the piano. It wasn't my intention to mislead you. Seems like a nice family. Yeah. Look at this little tiny man. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> okay, he's alive. And we have work with the with the singer of this one. Oh, nice. Very emotional song though. Only music, no sound effects. Beautiful. Yeah. I don't know what's happening, but I'm sad now. <laughs> <laughs> the cuteness. Yeah. And of course, it's the cover. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's a little sad. Yeah. But this is really well done. Like this combination yeah. of the small. Beautiful toys. No, I really like this trailer. Like, no sound effect, but it's a vibe. Very calm. Yeah. Not explosive. No. Explosive in the heart. Mm hmm. <laughs> Word. Oh no. Tiny hearts. Auto platform. Yeah. Yeah. Tin Hearts, uh, of course, by uh, uh, the guys from Rogue Sun. It's, uh, I had the privilege to have dinner with them at Gamescom uh, together with uh, uh, the guy from Wired. Uh, we always call that breaking bread together, mm -hmm. kind of sharing stories about game development, but also kind of the creative choices that goes into this. Um, I find this very sweet. Like, of course, we, I love the big blockbuster Hollywood explosion into the face, bigger than life. Um, but this fits very well to kind of a, a close to the heart narrative. You can kind of see there's some stuff going on. I know a little bit more about the game mm -hmm. than you just see. But what is kind of your first impression, music-wise, visual-wise, that you get from this? I kind of miss the games that like has this little bit old feelings because now everyone tries to make like that triple A game, that big Hollywood game, that big like big imp impression game, you know, the big games. Yeah. But this one tries not that trying to that like going all the way in, but 
it's it touches your heart. I like yeah. this. I like the visually. It feels satisfying, and the music and the, like everything fits really uh, together because like the game really feels tiny, tiny, <laughs> tiny. tiny. <laughs> so the music is also very like small. And, like it fits very well, I think. And I kind of miss the games like this, like. A little bit more chill, calm. It seems to be a, a little bit of the mix of It Takes Two. I was going and, to say It Takes uh, Two, yes. I was Toy like, Story, you, this narrative yeah. and close to the heart. And um, I think it's beautifully done. And especially yeah. if you make a trailer, sometimes you can show different perspectives mm -hmm. on it. Because I know there's a lot of kind of uh, a Ruth Goldberg kind of style that you need to make your patterns, how kind of your tiny soldiers are uh, um, uh, walking of kind of mm -hmm. the paths and it needs to be this whole uh, reactive system that you need to build in, kind of puzzling. So while puzzling, you also watch what's happening in the big man's world also, I, like what's happening I, to I family? Believe so. I believe so. So yeah. I haven't played it yet. So I believe so it's, uh, that there is this narrative story that's uh, this maker of things mm -hmm. uh, and you, you are diving into this world mm. uh, while you're kind of with all this gameplay because it's not a film. So yeah, yeah. you need to, of course, have a little bit of a puzzle or a challenge to do it. Um, but yes, yeah. they are definitely going for this more heartfelt um, story mm -hmm. and they do this, portray this very well with the music. And about I like the music, this. yeah. It is, is uh, Aisha who's mm -hmm. singing it and she did a collaboration for Emotional Waters, one of our albums. Um. Okay. Um, with uh, Ton Habraken, and hmm. it's uh, it's nice to see to see her in this trailer to say, wow, she has such a beautiful voice, and yeah. and then to kind of see her appear in this one, uh, really, that uh, warms my tin heart. <laughs> tin heart. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He said uh, that the, the <laughs> name of the movie a game. <laughs> no, but it's, no, but um, I really liked it. The, the, it takes two vibes in it, and like. I like the stories that you play, the characters that are kind of not interacting the story, but they're also the part of the story. There yeah. is one game that you play the play the cat, but it's a pixel game. Yeah. Uh, I forgot the name. Maybe it's the cats of other lives. I'm not sure. But you watch the story yeah. the, playing as a cat. But you are not You're interacting not that. You are the cat. You are the but cat. Something's happening in the story, like the family is getting br break up, or like there's a mystery happening. So you, I, you don't remember the name? No, I think it's the cats of the other lives or something okay, like that. I haven't if you that. check it from Steam, you're gonna see it. It's actually a Turkish developer. Yeah. So yeah, it's I don't know. I like this game. So I also like it takes two. So I like when you are the character of story, but you are also not interacting, but also you're interacting with it. So I like this game. So I didn't know. Thank yeah. you for bringing this one because <laughs> I think I can check this game because it's it's sparked in my tan tin heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I think it's uh, it's sweet. Also, the the dev team creating this, they uh, they have their uh, their heart on their sleeves in, mm. in a sense. So they're they're really pouring their heart out by a creation like this, and I think it shows. And especially if it's also on the marketing side of things. So. Uh, uh, big up to Wired, the, the 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 publisher, to 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 slap something this together together with the development team. I think mm. it really shows how th that combination of what you really want to portray. And sometimes it's super hard to do in marketing, right? Yeah. Because you want to sell something, you don't want to undersell it, you don't want to make it uh, uh, too depressing or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. But you want it to evoke the exactly feel. Um, and that the story is about by yeah. pulling in the people that love that. Yeah. No, I think this wasn't depressing. It was more heart heartwarming, but it's still like a little bit sad, but not even like depth depressed. It's like, <laughs> oh, what's going on? Why this tiny soldiers are dying? Why? What's <laughs> happening? And like, it, it really leaves you on the place that you really like, what's happening there? Like, what is this? So yeah, I think it's a nice game. Like, nice. Like, Nice I'm trailer a, that really wants you to play the game. Yeah, and I think it's uh, uh, it's sweet that they uh, they use these little soldiers. And of course, I believe they even 3D printed one. Oh. Order is a collector's edition. Nice. That you have uh, a little of these things. It's just such a must-have things, right? Yeah. No, collector's ed editions are nice. I never bought one, but... I like them. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just nice because sometimes you want a little bit more of a game, mm -hmm. or let's say you go to the movies, you watch the, the movie, and it really uh, touched you in some way, or or you became emotional because of mm -hmm. it. Uh, it kind of stops there. 
Yeah. Maybe you can buy a poster or a t-shirt or something, but it's not really uh, uh, making your experience or uh, and lengthening your experience. True. And with like little stuff that you take from a, uh, a, a virtual world into mm -hmm. the real world makes it kind of extend a little bit more, or at least that experience you have. No, that's true. I do love that with games the most, because in a movie it's maybe two hours, maybe if it's a long movie, three hours. Uh, but this one you can kind of uh, um, dive into a little bit deeper and, and, and replay it, and then yeah. have a more interactive experience with this whole ambience. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I do love with games that, that films don't have. Yeah, that's it's true. That's the true. interactiveness of things. Mm -hmm. Because you are the hero on the games, you are the you are the narrative itself, maybe. Yeah, and yeah. I, and I would even go as far as that it's maybe easier to um, to dive into the skin of certain characters while you are playing the game because you are uh, maybe seeing um, the decisions from their perspective a little mm -hmm. bit better, or even making the choice in their perspective. Yeah, like um, RPG games. Yeah, yeah, and and that there is maybe a little bit more time to to really. Uh, process these mm -hmm. feelings yeah. and, and have the time for that because you can pause like the game and like or it's, it goes to your timing and I hope because this trailer kind of shows that it's not like a super fast paced mm -hmm. game um, I haven't played it so I'm very curious how much this trailer kind of portrays the real atmosphere of Tin Hearts uh, but when I saw this I think this is one of the best trailers Wired made and uh, I love that I love when it came out and I told uh, Leo and Jason mm -hmm or running the, the business, I told them as well, like, this is really beautiful. And it touched my heart. So uh, so thanks, guys, for, for putting this one together. Very curious, if you... We, uh, we if should open a heart meter in this video. We said a lot of hearts, <laughs> like, heart, 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 heart. We made, so we will make a compilation of yeah, how many hearts. We just say, like, heart, heart, heart. <laughs> Definitely drop a, a, what is it, a heart? <laughs> a heart, yeah. <laughs> drop a heart in which you Hearts, there, make on. sure to subscribe with a heart. Yeah, yeah please, <laughs> please. No, but it's beautiful. Uh, make sure it's already out on, uh, I believe, almost all platforms. PlayStation, yeah, <laughs> Xbox, uh, Steam. So uh, pick your favorite platform and check it out. If you like this narrative games close to the hearts, Tin Hearts. Um, for now, uh, I kind of want to say, if you like these kind of videos where we are reacting on trailers or maybe go a little bit more deeper into the production of things or maybe talk about the industry, we have lots of more videos on the channel. So make sure to subscribe, like, hit that bell button if you like Quasimodo, ding dong, ding dong. Uh, <laughs> and then you can follow us uh, uh, on other social media as well if you prefer text-based stuff or photos. For now, I want to thank you for watching and see you next time. Hey there, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like this one, check out this video or that video. And if you want to support the channel, make sure to click on top of my head on the logo and subscribe to the channel.